Okay, Reefers, welcome back to the channel. So this week, just want to do a quick video on the problem I've got with this reef tank. I mentioned it in my last upload, if you've been watching the videos, an issue we've got with bryopsis and hair algae. Now, I, I haven't really suffered massively over the years with uh, my reef tanks with hair algae or any algae issues. Um, this tank, we have had a bit of an issue with nutrients, running nutrients uh, a little bit too high. I'm just getting on top of them now. Um, but annoyingly, the hair algae has kicked off a little bit. It's not severe. Um, there's just bits of it here and there, tufts of it, a little bit of turf algae and stuff. And the annoying thing is we have got some bryopsis in here, which is notoriously hard to get rid of. Um, now, I'm just going to show you, the, the tank is in treatment mode. Now, we started yesterday a uh, Pacific treatment for this. It's going to take a week or two weeks. I want to check back in with you in a week, two weeks' time to show you the results. Uh, I'm using a treatment I've never used before. So tank is in treatment mode now. Water's a bit hazy with protein skewer off. Uh, and the tank looks rubbish at the moment because we've got coral flag, frags all over the sand bed. Uh, I need to have a good tidy up in here. So the tank's not, annoyingly not going to uh, look as good as it usually does. Uh, and we've got a few corals that just aren't happy with the treatment at the moment. Hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, we're not going to have an issue with corals. Uh, apparently, it's completely reef safe, this treatment, and um, we don't have any issues. And yeah, most of them are okay, but yeah, there's, there's, I've got a lot of polyps that shot in and stuff. So, uh, we'll get the camera off the tripod and show you the extent of the algae issue that we've got and uh, run you through what I'm going to use to sort, hopefully, sort the problem out. So, bear with me. Okay, so straight off the bat, you can see that the tank's not filming great. It's quite hazy water. The protein skimmer's been off now for just over a day, and it really makes a difference because, um, as careful as I am with feeding, uh, this tank does produce, you know, quite a lot of uh, skim mate in the skimmer. There's a lot of waste. Um, I have to empty out that skimmer. Yeah, every couple of days. So obviously with that skimmer off, every hour that goes past, it's just nutrients builds up in the tank. So hopefully I'm not going to have a massive spike in nitrates and phosphates. I probably will, but uh, obviously with this treatment, I can't use the skimmer and I can't carbon dose with no pox at all, which is annoying. So I'm just going to have to uh, deal with the nutrient level afterwards with hopefully no pox will bring it down. But off the bat, you, you wouldn't think this tank's got much of a, a, an algae issue. Um, it's not to you when you get close. I try and zoom in on the patches, but for example, this rock here. So we've got a mixture, sort of bit of bryopsis and maybe sort of hairy, turfy algae here, and sort of on the edges of the rock. A yeah, little bit of cyano there, but that that will soon uh, soon go, no doubt. And this rock here, sort of. Hairy bryopsy, turfy algae there. Uh, we've definitely got some bryopsis down here. And on the return nozzles, I've actually picked off quite a bit from this return nozzle. Uh, there's loads of it hanging off there, bryopsis. But I've removed as much as I can from the system, but we've got some actually on a coral colony there, which I think is uh, hair algae. The trouble is with hair algae, there's lots of different strains of it. So this treatment I'm using, is specifically targeted for bryopsis, but it does claim it can clear up uh, hair algae as well. But you know, it's, uh, some strains of hair algae will be uh, stubborn. So I'm hoping to, to get rid of a lot of this, but we'll see, it's the first time I've ever used this product. And it's from a company called Blue Life. And it's the Flux RX, which, if you look, use on both bryopsis and green hair algae. Um, I've heard really good reports of it, never used it before, so we've got to give it a go. But people say it's just eliminated a lot of their hair algae issue, mainly bryopsis, so fingers crossed. The only annoying thing is with this treatment is you have to turn the skimmer off for three days, take any carbon out, any phosphate remover, and... Uh, yeah, no carbon dosing, obviously, because your skimmer's off. 
So this is going to be interesting. I've never run this, this tank. Well, I've never run any reef tank without a skimmer actually for any length of time. No more than a day anyway. Uh, and no doubt this tank, like I said before, it does run quite high nutrients. So with the skimmer off, no uh, carbon dosing, we're, we're definitely going to get a spike in nutrients, which is annoying. But yeah, so hopefully this uh, product's going to sort the problem out. But um, we, you know, we'll see. It's just going to be about our time. Blue Life say that you know usually you see results after seven to ten days. Um, yes, yeah, so it's going to be very very interesting to see what happens. So the tank looks absolutely rubbish at the moment. So I've got broken bits of coral. Annoyingly, my copper band. Uh, a funny five minutes and flitted around the tank and broke this colony here. It's all in pieces. And we've got bits of uh, coral frags and plugs that have, that have fallen. It just looks messy. It's not how I usually like to uh, do a video on a tank. Oh, yeah, it's got to be all perfect. You can see the polyps on the Duncan are shot right in. That's no doubt because of the uh, treatment we've put in. Same with the GSP, not happy. So all the polyps are sort of a little bit shot in, but that's to be expected. With any sort of treatment, you can get some adverse effects really with corals. Hopefully we don't lose any. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're dealing with. Um, so it's not a huge issue, but there is, you know, there is these patches of algae that uh, are less dealt with and you know, they can become a problem. Uh, I do need to beef up the cleanup crew in here. We've got two Mexican turbos in here, but they are they're getting old and sluggish now. Uh, they're not as uh, when they first went in. They used to sort of chew up anything that was any algae that was kicking around, but they're they're very lazy now. And um, yeah, so we do need to to beef up our population of cleanup crew in this tank. It's, they get this um, lovely rock. It's covered in coralline algae. Get it all sparkling again. So yeah, um, that's it really folks. I just wanted to give you a short video, explain how I'm gonna try and tackle this issue with this tank. We've got some exciting videos coming up, especially the next one, where we're gonna be leaving the house and uh, giving you a little tour around our LFS, all things aquatic. So watch out for that, it's coming soon. Got some uh, good filming to do there on a few different things. So thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, obviously chuck them in the box below. If you're new to the channel, obviously subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, people. That really helps me out, helps the channel out. And I shall check in with you shortly.